man. With our favorite segment of the week. Should, shouldn't I get birthday, birthday. Immu- birthday immunity here, you, man? Yeah, no, you ask us it. anything. You do. Didn't you try I do? to? Yeah. Wait. What? Uh, no, some of the best questions are for him. No, he asked for immunity like last time we did this for some other reason because his foot hurt or something. And we didn't <laughs> give it to him. him. And we didn't give it to him. Yeah. But today, it's your birthday. Oh. If you would like birthday immunity Whoa. from the Ask Us Anything, you can have it. Nah, this, this is should be garbage. A vote. This think... should be some kind of vote, man. My birthday's on a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking off on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Had you not said that, I might have taken off the last couple of hours. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll oh, do it. look mean. at you putting your big boy pants on. I'm in. Because I'd be like against you guys having birthday immunity for something like, <laughs> for something like this. So I got to go in. All right. All right, so. All right, so these are our Ask Us Anythings. This is Rebecca, handles our social media, and you guys have been asking us all these questions online. None of us have seen any of these. Okay, so I have one for each of you. And by the way, you can stop tagging me in the Insta story (laughs) post asking people to submit their questions because I'm not sharing it. (laughs) I'm not going to share it. (laughs) (laughs) I'll remember that next time. (laughs) Okay, Bert, first of all, happy birthday. Uh Uh-huh. Second of all. (laughs) (laughs) It's a trap. Okay. (laughs) Have you ever had plastic surgery? Uh, I have not. Uh, I've had Botox. Uh, but no, I haven't. Yeah, I did. I had a really small nose. Uh, and I said, yeah. I said, hey, doc, can you go in there and make it bigger and hookier? And so that's why my nose looks the way it, it does. But you do injectables. Uh, yes. Gotcha. Okay, Davi. Mm. I hear you're a 420 kind of girl. Mm. Have you ever tried any other funky substances? Funky. 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 That means illegal. That yeah. <laughs> funky. Yeah. What is under the umbrella of funky drugs? Uh, I'll just say yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> vaguely. Okay. Uh, do I have to name them? No. 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 That that would be a public record. And yeah. We're not, we're not gonna put that out there. Listen to broadly speaking. <laughs> Our <laughs> podcast. I've talked about all of it. This one's for Kristen. Kristen, with your husband being a stay-at-home dad, mm-hmm. do you still allow him to be a leader of the household? I'm an, unaware of your religious affiliations, but Christianity states that men are to lead and women Ooh. follow their man. Oh, yep. yeah. Are okay. you submissive? So are you a good Christian or not, Kristen? <laughs> well, I, wow. I don't see where religion comes into how the household is ran personally. Um... So he is an incredible stay-at-home dad, and he is in charge of the household, I think, like a stay-at-home mom would be, as far as, like, um, his responsibility and roles. He does the grocery shopping. He does the laundry. He manages, um, like, you know, I'm I'm not going to say we clean the house because— we we hire somebody to come mm-hmm. in every couple of weeks to clean the house, but he oversees that. He takes care of the dogs, and of course, he takes impeccable care of Jimmy. So, in those instances, yes, like he he's the leader of the household. Now, when it comes to supplying the finances mm-hmm. to feed the dogs and feed the baby and, and feed, feed him, <laughs> <laughs> um, I lead in that aspect. So, we are both leaders in our home. And I feel it works really well for us. It, it seems like a very fair partnership to me. Yeah. Uh, and if the roles were reversed, that wouldn't even be a question. Exactly. Right? There, right? So I know. Yeah. Nobody would ever ask that. Like of you, and you, and Tiffany, and your household, and if you know, I allow him. Right. I don't allow him to do anything. We have a mutual understanding and respect in our relationship. He he allows me to thrive. And I do my best to allow him to thrive. Yeah, I mean, I think you guys have responsibilities to each other. You're the one that is working and bring it. It takes a lot of time Mm -hmm. uh, to manage the things that you do financially. Mm -hmm. And he, his role in the relationship is to take the other. I've often jokingly called him the Kristen caddy. Yeah. Because his job is to make Kristen the best Kristen she can be, which you do to Bart also. But his part of this partnership is running a household. And I mean, I don't think people fully comprehend too, like stay at home parents, whether it's a dad or a mom, the emotional load that they carry on a day-to-day basis. I mean, he's, we're trying to like um, redo the driveway when it comes to landscaping, when it comes to, you know, appointments. And like he's, he has all of his ducks in a row to make stuff like that happen. And it's, it's a lot. Like if you sat down and wrote down everything, single thing that was on his plate, uh, you would be astonished. <laughs> Not a knock on Bart, a knock on me. Um, I wish I had Bart's ego. 
Um, cause this relationship for me wouldn't work. Um, mm-hmm. I grew up with toxic masculinity as a father and, um, it has just sort of been ingrained in me that I'm the one that has to provide. I provided for everybody in my life, my whole life. Right. So the fact that he can do that and you said he struggled with it initially. Yeah, that was, but that was like 10 years ago. Yeah. I applaud the dude. I kind of love that Kristen's question is, are you a godly wife? And mine is, how many drugs you done? <laughs> <laughs> um, and so religion doesn't come into play in, in, in that aspect. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, this one's for Mo. Mo, mm-hmm. a.k.a. Lil Juicy. Ooh. Oh, wow, old school. Let's <laughs> see right. where this is going. Back. <laughs> Would you come out of retirement to dance for me see? at my 40th oh, birthday no. party? Oh, we need some history here. <laughs> for those that don't know, bro. Yeah, I had one night, <laughs> one drunken night in college where somehow I ended up dancing with a few friends of mine and um, I got the nickname Lil Juicy. I don't remember why, but S- it stuck. Stripping or just dancing? Somewhat. I mean, I, I didn't get like butt naked up yeah. there, but I, I took my shirt off. How much? I took my shirt off. And no, no, I had no, 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 no. How much to bring you out of retirement? If we did, oh, no, check guys. this out. Let me even raise the stakes here. If we did a Burt Show event, right? Uh-huh. And you were getting paid for it, like Kristen said, right? And the main attraction was you stripping. Don't got to go all the way down, but to everything but, like Kristen said, how much would it cost? Throw a number at me. Oh, this is two hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Plus <laughs> tip. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna be no tip for two hundred dollars. Five hundred. Nope. Don't- Thousand. Don't say nope. stripping. Make I'm a little mad you started at 200. That's that was it, rude. It's just negotiation. Are you kidding me? You start saw low. the sweatpants pick. Uh, that was rude. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You start low. 200. We're negotiating. Uh, you ain't close to where I need to be. 5,000. Nope. Throw out a number. Are you kidding? 7,500. 10,000. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. I think we can do this. You think you're worth ten thousand dollars? I'm sorry. No, I I'm think like I'm worth 25. a million actually. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-five ninety-nine. Yeah. But I'm giving the people what they want for a discount. <laughs> I don't want no group on stripper. <laughs> I did burlesque for a five dollar cover charge. I'm not proud of it. His, obviously, his standards are a little higher. Yeah. Big facts. We might have a promotion coming though. Promo code a little juicy. The Bird Show.